Welcome everybody to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast with Dylan and Akram. For today's episode, we are covering episode two of White House Plumbers, now out on HBO Max. Check out our episode one review if you haven't already. Spoilers ahead. But Akram, what did you think of this episode? Yeah, pretty fun episodes. Uh, same like the first episode. Um, we get a little bit more stuff that actually happened in the past. Uh, so it's really cool to see that really interesting I think really funny again I like how they implement comedy into this Um, so I of course it's kind of like a recreation of these events but in a more comedic tone so I I appreciate that Mm -hmm. again uh, Justin Thoreau and Woody Harrelson are wonderful here Um, so yeah but let's get your thoughts yeah I thought this was a great episode it was so funny like you said and uh, it kind of explores uh, Howard Hunt's relationship with his kids as well. Mm. So we see there's kind of a disconnect. And I thought it was ironic because he said um, he said to uh, Dita Beard uh, later in the episode, he said, um, family comes before your work or your country. But there's kind of uh, a hypocrisy to that right. because he's so uh, invested in his job and his po- the, the politics of the job. So there's kind of like a disconnect there. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And I think that that's in a way kind of poignant as well, because how do you deal with both? And so I think that's a question that a lot of us Americans ask uh, in politics in general and also religion and this and that. So I like that little, I'd say, through line throughout the show. And again, this is only five episodes. So hopefully this will pop up again and again and again, because there is for the most part, there is like a lot of young cast members here. So I think this is kind of a reflection of our current times and it's like young Mm -hmm. people dealing with their parents in these types of fields uh so why don't we get to the nitty-gritty of it and tell us what happened yeah so it was covering the itt scandal uh where basically dita beard uh she's a lobbyist i think for well she works for itt which is the big you know corporation that you know, made a lot of payoffs for like the Nixon, you know, campaign stuff. Um, I won't get into too many details without it sounding too, you know, nitty gritty. But yeah, so basically Howard and George tried to convince Dita to go back on her 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 memo mm. for this big uh, testimony that for the, the Senate, because basically it'll, it'll lead back to Nixon and the, the campaign. So they kind of want to stop this, you know, before it gets too big. Right. Um. So yeah, I like that they uh, they bribed her with the uh, Marlboros. That was so funny. That that actress too. She was pretty she funny was like, on screen. She was great. Yeah, she was really great. Uh, just her chemistry to like with George and and Howard was really funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I like yeah, like I also like that it's based on true events too. So it's like more historical context, right? For people that you know weren't around that time, or people that were around that time, you know, they'll probably appreciate this series. But people like us, you know, that are in a different generation, will probably uh, get more historical context behind it. But yeah, overall, it was a great episode. Uh, uh, Gordon, he kind of uh, pitches like all these drastic ideas to the attorney general. Mm. And he's so he's so much like Drax. It's so funny. <laughs> like he's so literal. <laughs> like there was an episode where this boss was like, "Oh, well, why don't you?" Well, he asked the boss. He's like, "Oh, is there anything I can do for it?" And he's like, "Oh, why don't you go kill this guy?" And he's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and he just goes out. <laughs> it's so funny, like how literal he right. is. But Howard's kind of like this, you know, nonchalant guy. Um, and yeah, it was interesting too. Like with the daughter, like the, we see like Howard's daughter is also kind of like this radical leftist and we see like there's you know there's a division in the family right and that's probably like where it becomes relatable you know with the politics Mm. thing it's like how do you how do you relate to your own kids Mm -hmm. when your kids come from like a different mindset right Right. and you're kind of like uh too ingrained into an older generation and different you know culture and time period Mm. right well they're also involved too they're like heavily involved in this thing so it's kind of uh it's kind of hard sometimes, though. I probably ask themselves, so "What are they doing this for?" Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, pretty pretty great episode. Uh, I hope our reviews don't fall into death ears, though, because the last video <laughs> didn't get too many views. But <laughs> we'll see. Uh, what would you rate this episode? Uh pretty great episode for me. Probably gets nine out of ten for me. How about yeah, you? Yeah, I think I, I give it a nine out of ten too. I, I look forward to reviewing episode three. But that is our review for episode two. Sorry for the lateness, but it is what it is. We have plenty of content coming out there pretty soon. Watch more reviews and a fun little surprise too that we're excited to show Ooh. you guys. Uh, but Dylan, mm-hmm. take us away. Yeah, guys, check out all our content. We're so busy this month, but we have a plethora of content. Uh, we have some, you know, stuff from 
horror movies, you know, spy thrillers. So check out all our stuff. We did a, of course, a Star Wars Revisited for May 4th. Those were really fun to cover as well. So check those out. Um, wherever you're listening to us, you know, leave a like, a subscribe, feedback. Let us know how we're doing as a podcast, you know, really helps the channel out. But thank you guys so much. And until then, thanks for having lunch with us. See you guys. Mm-hmm.